Shortly, Bishop here, I've taken some time to show you the uh, kit import tools, which is found down here. So, if I open that up at the moment, all right, first off, um, we need to set where our assets are. Um, I've got these ones, the mega scans, so I'll select that. I need to set that to mega scans. And the images I've downloaded with 4K, and we do a level detail zero, which is I think the highest it goes for plants and since it's plants we turn on double-sided smoothing yeah we might as well have that on as well and um, these we won't need to touch uh, yeah this means it'll save a scene if the if the images already exist in your content folder then you can turn that on to save some time right if I click OK on that it'll go off and do its stuff Once done, it'll uh, attempt to arrange the assets you brought in uh, like that for easy viewing. And uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just turn on VPR. And as you can see, it, it's nicely text for, for native. And what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the surfaces of these anyway. Um, as you can see at the moment they're all separate objects there is a modeler tool that will merge them down into one object i'll show you that guy, uh, in a bit but if i open this just maximize that you can see it's created oh, i haven't got octane turned on so yeah these are going to be blanked out i think we need to work on that and get those textures in there there's no reason why they can't be but as you can see it's set up um you know, a native render and also a real engine um, yeah so that should you know if you were to send that to unreal because the, the unreal's plugged into OpenGL, unreal would recognize that um or unreal bridge i should say right i'll show you the modeler tool for that so if i close that and pause the video i'll open modeler all right in modeler and the tool you're actually looking for is merge kits just click on that and this little request will come up um, we want to save it as a layered object because one plant separate so what we need to do now is just find the folder it put the plants in which I think yeah it was that one so that's a kit bash I'll show you that job later click OK on that OK on that and um, what it's now doing is loading these objects and creating a layered object. It won't keep it open, so if you want to see it, you have to reload it. Okay, that was from a kit bash job. <laughs> and it'll be in a subfolder, and it'll be a that one there we've grouped on the ninth end. And you open that, as you can see, all the plants are now on separate layers. The advantage of this is really down to surface editor. You now got one surface that controls all those models. So yeah, that's that side of it. Just imported a, a um, I can't remember what they call them, but just a, a model from uh, Mega Scans. In in this case, it's three objects um, in one FBX. But yeah, you can see it's sort of. Uh, rotate that yeah it's tech i mean it, it split those models quite neatly so you know any modular kit you get those objects will be separate and again you can use that modeling tool to put them into one layer i'll show you the uh content folders so that's my current project content folder so what the tool will do it'll um literally copy these models up models images and all that to your own content in their own subfolder like in this case the images are stored there and we've got the objects here and scene file there that's the same with the plants as well you know you've got the all the objects there and the one i converted earlier and same with the images and 
you know, with Kitbash, it will do the same as well. Um, so, yeah, and any, anything you import using that tool, it will bring all the assets into your content. Obviously, if you want to store them for later use, then all you need to do is just copy these subfolders to where you need to. Right, now we're on to the Kitbash side. Um, just point out, that's my content folder. So, run that. I've already um, pasted in the root folder for me. Uh, well, Space Colony, which is a kit bash set of assets. All this is all set up, ready to go. Shouldn't really need to touch any of those unless they've changed a, you know, for example, they might have changed that to color instead of base color, but it does check for some hidden ones as well. So I wouldn't worry about those. Obviously, you don't need those because it's not uh, mega scans. Anyway, you click OK. What it's doing is now um, loading the FBX file as a scene. So what I'll do is I'll, oh, there you go. I was going to pause it. But you can see what I mean. It's loading all the separate objects. This one loads fairly quickly. And now what it's doing is scanning through the objects and applying the relevant textures. Again, this is one of the smallest kits, so it doesn't take that long to do. So I'll leave that flowing. <laughs> but yeah, actually, I might as well explain this. As you can see, you've got um, these group nulls and each asset is parented to those. And what the plugin is going to be doing next is going to zero all these nulls, save all the objects transformed. So they'll um, share the same pivot point then, which is something they don't do when you originally load them. And that's what it's doing now. Yeah, this, for some reason, it's not updating. It just suddenly jumps. Um, I guess that's a limitation of... Um, yeah, the display down in that bottom corner. But there you go, just jump to you know, 167. And yeah, these look all wrong, but now they're correct. And that should be done. Yep, have a cracking day. And as you can see, yeah, all those models are surface for Octane, um, native render, and yeah, Unreal Engine. So if I click on that one, not many textures on this one. Let's maximize that. And you can see it, it's pretty much done. And that's literally all the surfaces. Now, the annoying thing is you've probably got lots of these white plastics. If you loaded it as an object, it'll clone those. So you'd see a one, two, three. Whereas loading it as a scene, you know, they'll, they'll um, keep their original name. Now, the modeler side. I'll uh, switch to that. Alright, so in Modeler, the second part of the tool is Merge Kits. And if I open that, um, that's where I was last time we can remove that. And come here. Oops. Alright, and we're now looking for Space Colony. So I click OK on that. Save as layered objects, click OK on that. And now what it's doing is it's grouping up those objects into the separate objects that were separate and saving them as um, a layered object now. So anything that was parented to a group should be now a single object. And those, that's the original assets, I think. Yeah. And if I open up that folder, sorry, those are the original assets. Then in this folder here, you got grouped. Uh, let's grab a bigger one. Uh, yeah, say that one. Now you've got all the assets combined into the separate, uh, well, combined into layers based on the grouping that was in layer. So that saves you a big task as well. Uh, you ain't got, you know, if you load, for example, if I, uh, load an ungrouped section, uh, say, yeah, those two, the, you know, they're going to be clearly separate objects and annoying to deal with. Yeah, obviously that's the base for that, but. Yeah, that's 
basically that. Right, there is an issue actually with uh, larger kits. So, um, yeah, because you, you might run out of RAM. So I've got a option there, load from C. Now that one, I'll just run that a sec. Yeah, it always has to work with an empty scene. So it'll clear the scene. I'll give it a few seconds. This will open this panel. Just click OK on that. I'm going to be swapping that out to use Interchange, which actually works faster. It doesn't, yeah, you because know, currently at the moment, Lightwave's doing in the background is actually saving all those objects to disk in a temp file, which is, you know, a huge waste of time. Uh, Interchange doesn't do that. It will just load the models into the scene without saving to disk. Right, once that's done, it'll give you basically this menu and select done and say for example only want one asset from there say we want this one so click on all those ignore the rest click OK it'll load those objects in and then surface just that asset that's pretty much what the tool does and then obviously you probably want to go into modeler to combine all these separate layout um, objects into uh, a layered object again the modeler tool will detect that it was parented to a null and group these in as one object all right well that's it for now and talk to you soon okay bye